Throughout the month of July, we've been sharing ways that you can participate in Shock the State Ashkosh on July 25th and 26th. Today, we're joined by local artist Mike Galhar, who's participated in downtown Ashkosh Chalk Walk in the past. This is his piece from last year, and he also will have a piece this year. He's going to show us how to experiment with blending and creating an artwork on sandpaper using soft pastels or chalk pastels instead of creating in your driveway or on your sidewalk with regular chalk. Hi, my name is Mike Gellar. I'm one of the artists uh, for Chalk Walk's Magnificent 12 this year. Uh, I'm going to show you some blending techniques on sandpaper, actual sandpaper at the hardware store and the boards that we used this year for uh, the Chalk Walk. Okay, so here we've got some sandpaper um, just from the hardware store. Uh, compared to this board, what we use, I'm going to show you the difference of not only how they react, but when you're adding colors, uh, the difference of how you're blending colors in what order. So, I'm using basically the primary colors here. So, if I now add blue on top of the yellow, you're going to see these chalks do blend. They will change the color a little bit. So, you will get the you see a little bit of greenish color. But if I do the same yellow over the blue, it should be a little different as you see. All right. So as you can see, if you're blending that, you're going to get a little bit of difference. Well, not as bad as I thought, but you're going to get a little difference on the colors. The chalk that Mike is using, you can find at any art supply store or online. Just look for soft pastels or chalk pastels. They feel very similar to sidewalk chalk, but are smaller and have a lot of variety of colors. Just like sidewalk chalk, they produce a lot of dust when you use them. So you're either going to want to be drawing inside on top of a newspaper or in a space that you can wipe up easily, or do it outside. One nice thing with these, this uh, sandpaper is you're not losing a tooth. Unlike on your boards here, if you do the same thing, you will notice it's going to look a little different as you're putting on. Uh, it's going to react a little different as you're blending. Both work, you just gotta get used to them. Um, clean that off. As you may be able to see at the Chalk Walk event, you'll see some differences in here. But both work. Um, the biggest difference though, if you have on this sandpaper, if, if you can just keep layering on the sandpaper. Um, so let's say I want to go back, just for fun, we're going to throw some red on here. Now even though I already blended it, the sandpaper keeps enough tooth that it's going to go on really nice. Chalk the State is all about coming together as a community to create art and make the world a more colorful place. Don't be afraid to experiment and try new things along the way. Even artists that have been doing art for a long time take the time to experiment and try new materials and figure out the way things work. Mike's now going to show us how he creates a glowing candle artwork on a piece of sandpaper using the chalk pastels. All right, so we're gonna start off, I'm just gonna make a kind of an outline with a white right now. Um, kind of real quick sketch in what we're doing. Throwing in some color. Um, might test a few colors off the side here just to see what I want to start off with. I generally start on something like this. I'm going to start putting some lighter colors in first. Uh, and actually, start with a little bit of yellow and we'll build up, I'll just build up after that. Uh, but since we are on the sandpaper. It doesn't quite, you can't quite rub it away as easily as you would on a board or paper, but that's okay. We can go right over this. I'm just going to fill in, just fill in some color. There's yellows, oranges, reds, and there's you know a little bit of black, which we might use with the paper, but I may have to do something with that at the end. Um, so I'm just going to layer generally from lightest to, to darkest. You can get back over it with light colors at some point you, you can go back with a lighter color especially if you have a lot of tooth what this sandpaper does Oops. Um, and I just I'm big on just using my finger to sort of blend those in a little bit and you blow off the excess if you need it <laughs> um, and if you do feel like oh I need a little bit more yellow there you can 
just sort of slide that back in there a little bit. Blend that in. I usually, if you can, blend from the lighter color to the darker color. It helps with the blend a little bit. Thank you, Mike, for letting us watch you create this artwork on sandpaper using chalk pastels. Here's a sneak peek at his artwork that will be on display as part of the Magnificent 12 starting July 24th through September 10th in downtown Oshkosh.